Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. I actually just got back from the gym and cardio. Yes, cardio is now part of this program. I'm here in the kitchen, you see Howard over there walking away. Howard, as I'll show you, is no longer a man. He's feeling a little embarrassed. Let's see if we can focus in on him there. He and his balls. Let me get out of my face as I talk about balls. He finally got neutered, so it's gonna be interesting to see how he deals and reacts with that, but it's probably all for the best because you can't have too many Howards rolling around. Now, as part of that, I'm gonna be making some food as well. I figured I'd go ahead and show you what I'm gonna make and all the ingredients. So I recently saw that my boy Endomorph Beast put up a taco salad video. Now, I didn't get to watch it, but it made me want to have somewhat of a taco salad. So I got ground chicken, I got some taco seasoning that I'll be using, some shredded lettuce, of course, got some black beans, some chipotle salsa, organic for you hippies, and then finally some whole kernel corn, no salt added, basically just gonna cook the chicken with the seasoning, make a big salad using these ingredients. I'll probably use half of that can of beans and half of the can of corn, but that sounds like a pretty good meal to me, at least for now. We'll see how it goes, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook that and we'll come back and I'll show you what the final product looks like. All right, so here's the finished product. As you can see, I ended up using half of the ground chicken, which ended up being eight ounces, half of the black beans, half of the corn, the full bag of lettuce, just YOLO'd some salsa, and then got a little bit too excited, and as you can see, just couldn't wait to eat it, and unfortunately that is not man juice, but it is ranch dressing. Now it's low fat, it's used from Greek yogurt or something like that. It is actually this little guy. If that one's getting to focus. So this is pretty good. Uh, you guys suggested this once I showed the Honey Ranch. You can see the macros on it are decent too. So I just put a little bit on there. But the money shot is where it counts. So I'm going to eat this and I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, so I'm getting ready to go to the gym. And one of the things I thought I'd do beforehand is talk a little bit about these little guys. That's the back of the package. Strong on my part. These little guys. Some earphones that I got sent from a company called Meze. These are their Deco earphones. And as part of this, I put it on Instagram the other day that they sent me these. A lot of you guys asked for a review and I'm gonna do that only because too, that was part of the conditions of them sending them to me. So kind of a disclaimer for this, a lot of companies contact me and say they'll send me free product in exchange for video reviews. They want product placement on the shitty little channel that I have and I normally say no. And I normally say no only because most of them are supplement companies or apparel based companies and to be honest, I'm more than likely gonna give it a bad review or I don't wanna actually have to use it. So I tell them it's just not worth their time or mine. However, in this case, I really always look for headphones. I got a lot of pairs sent to me last year and I didn't like any of them. So I was a little bit skeptical, but in this case, they looked kind of interesting. I figured I'd say, go ahead. So they sent me these. Now I have yet to try them, but I thought I'd go ahead and at least show you them and I'm gonna be wearing them in the gym today and I'll give you my feedback. So let's take a little bit of a closer look. All right, so like I said, here's the box. Again, nothing really too specific. It's fairly small, but sometimes big things come in small packages. At least that's what I tell myself to help me sleep better at night. Uh, but they sent me this. It also comes with this nice little carry case, which I would probably never use. I've never used really any of these cases before. You can see the logo is embossed right there uh, on the front, but Mm, that's fairly nice. I guess if you're into getting high, you could also stash your weed in there. Something else. Whatever you kids are into these days. Uh, but here are the headphones. So these have a wood grain finish. One of the things that I'm actually going to do right now before I just talk about these headphones is go ahead and flash on the screen some of the stats behind them. Again, full spoiler alert, I am not an audiophile by any means, so I do not know much about what these numbers mean. I just really based off what things hear like. So. As you can see right here, as I focus in, these have these wood grain, they're white in color. This could be good and bad because if you don't do a good job of cleaning your ears, I could see these tips getting very, very dirty. And obviously you always wanna keep your tips clean or your tips singular, whatever floats your boat again. Uh, it does have a microphone button right here and a power button as well. So uh, 
a stop and start. However, what it doesn't have on this is a volume rocker, which I thought was pretty interesting. You can see the microphone perhaps right there as well. So pretty standard headphones. Again, I'm gonna give these a try. I'm gonna use them in the gym again. With this design, although it looks fairly interesting at least, I'm not sure that this design would really translate well to the gym. These are more for artistic purposes, I suppose, but it's all about how they sound. Now for this, I'm gonna compare them to what I normally use, which are just my normal Apple earbuds, or ear pods as these ones are called. I know a lot of people don't like these, but I actually prefer these. I found for the price, which usually is free with any Apple product, um, this is the one with the volume rocker and the microphone and all that on it as well. I really just like the sound of these. You can't really beat them considering that again, they come with Apple products and not to mention, you don't have to spend a buttload on them. I know a lot of people like the Bluetooth headphones these days, but let's see if I can do this without getting you all up in my face. Oh, you're all up in my face, I'm sorry. But for me, for the most part, I haven't found a pair of Bluetooth headphones that is both price effective, so AKA not cheap, that's like it's just a better way to say it, or that give you a good overall sound. So I had some Bluetooth headphones sent to me before. They were very uncomfortable, not to mention they really sounded like crap. So it'll be interesting to see how these things fare. Again, I'm gonna use them today as that focuses in there. Again, nice clean tip to start. Probably be a little bit dirty after some good old use. But we'll see how they go and I'll let you know how they are after the actual workout. So let's go to the gym. All right, just listen to some Regulate from Nate Dog and Warren G. Mount up. But anyways, outside the gym today is actually a jacked and tan day. Yes, in the program, Mike lists it as jacked and tan. Basically, it's just a couple of pulling movements. So three pulling movements, rows, and then two sets of biceps, which is very interesting only because I don't think I've let alone done biceps for one set, let alone two sets. So it's gonna be a little bit of fun. He doesn't really outline what they have to be. The pulling movements, he says, just vertical and horizontal, a couple of each. And then for biceps, basically take your pick. So it's definitely a broed out day, which is good because sometimes everyone needs a little bit of bro in them, especially your girlfriend, if you know what I'm saying. But gonna go in the gym, you guys will see what's going on and I'll check in with you guys then. Back in the gym, man, with Campbell Fitness, boy. So what you're seeing here is the jacked and tan day. As I already said, three pulling movements, two bicep movements. We got the Jamaican reggae going. And I'm doing that only because I've already made a weed reference in this video, so I figure I might as well keep it consistent. Not to mention, the weights I use in this video are so laughable that I really can't take myself too seriously with some dubstep, some rap, some hard rock. We just gotta keep it easy, because everything's gonna be I. Not me. So that's exactly what we're doing. So what you're seeing are some of these inclined dumbbell rows as some of you have dubbed Campbell rows, which is really flattering yet quite sad because I know they have a, probably a better name, but I did three sets of this. What I'm really trying to focus on is actually pulling my elbows to the ceiling and I get a really good contraction with these and these are probably my favorite back exercise. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and start with these. Again, if you haven't given them a shot, please try them. Now I only filmed the first two sets of this exercise, not the third, just because I kept the weight static the entire time. I also didn't give any love taps because this is a family oriented channel, despite the fact that I drop the F-bomb all the time and make a lot of penis jokes. From there, we moved on to some pendulay rows. I did three sets. Here you see the last working set, which is just 185. I think I did sets of 10 on this. Now, I'm not overly familiar with this exercise, so I didn't want to go too heavy. However, that being the fact, I did use the bumper plates because they look more badass and really made me feel better about myself. From there, we then moved on to three sets of pull-ups. Just kept it with body weight. I believe I did sets of 12 on this. Eventually, I want to work back up to being able to do weighted pull-ups, but again, being so long gone and removed from the gym, I really wanted to, again, ease it in there, which is a consistent theme. I've been mentioning ease it in these last two videos, and maybe sometimes you just have to go with authority, but as I get off on a tangent, just really went easy here, making sure I got a full range of motion. From there, we moved on to the bicep exercises, and I know y'all are miring that 65-pound barbell curl. Look at it. That is just sad and pathetic. I didn't even want to throw the weights on the screen because this is just so sad. But honestly, I was trying to keep my form somewhat strict, although I am swaying a little bit. I haven't trained biceps, as I've already said in the intro, so I wanted to kind of just get my body ready for it because my endurance and stamina is just not there. And if you question what I say, just ask the Beyonce. She will probably back me up on that one. So three sets of this, somewhere between 10 to 12 reps. I can't count that high. I blame my URI education. And then before it gets better, it's gotta get a lot worse. I'm doing some incline dumbbell curls with 20 pounders. 
Honestly, I think if I went down any lower with this weight in terms of how much I used, the dumbbells would start becoming different colors. You know, those pink ones or blue ones or green ones you see. It's really, really a sad day for me, but despite the fact I still got a fairly decent pump out of this, which is something, again, I haven't experienced in a long, long time. So again, just showing you most of the first sets just because these weights really made me feel bad about myself and I didn't want to have to commentate over this any longer than I should. So we're going to cut it there. You can always follow me in Fitocracy, linked in the description box below to find out all the information of the workout. All right, back from the gym. It was somewhat tough considering I don't do that stuff normally, but it's always good, like I said, to ease yourself into any situation. That's a life lesson for you younger guys out there. But showing you guys what I'm having, and no, I'm not trying to show you my dick, because that is not what I'm having. So I'll try to get this in here. And what we have is actually a serving of this light and fit Greek vanilla yogurt, and then also a serving of this Nature Valley protein. So I got a big bag of this at BJ's. Um, Adds good crunch to it, also a good source of protein, so to say. So I added that on top. Uh, I then have, of course, a sandwich. This is just a ham sandwich. Uh, it's a honey ham, uh, as well as some multi-green bread. Then I have one of these little 100 calorie packs of blue almonds. And that's all I'm gonna have for right now. I'm the type that typically likes to under eat a little bit during the day and at breakfast, just so that I'm not really scrounging around at the end of night. So meaning that I could eat a lot bigger meals right now, but that wouldn't leave me much food later at night. I'd rather kind of eat more later just to make sure that I'm satisfied. It's all about that self-satisfaction and gratification. So I'm gonna eat and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I'm done eating, so I figured I'd go ahead and finish this review on the Mizzy earbuds, earphones, headphones, whatever you wanna call them. These little guys that I showed you earlier. Now I use them in the gym and I have to say, the sound quality on these is pretty good. Now again, I'm no audiophile necessarily and that's coming from someone who really likes these Apple ear pods, but overall these were a fairly good sound coming out. I think part of that is because they do have these ear tips which gives you a much tighter fit in the hole. Because let's be honest, no one wants something loose in the hole. They always want a tight fit. But with these, the sound quality was pretty good. And I think part of that, again, is because you really get a tightness. So you kind of block out all those other sounds. And this thing is really jammed up in your ear. And these were very loud, too. So I only really had to turn the volume up about a quarter of the way. Where in most cases with these Apple earbuds, I have to turn it up halfway. Those old man gains. My hearing isn't what it used to be. But overall, the sound quality of these were really good. However, the design, and it looks pretty cool in my opinion with the white and the wood grain. This is beech wood, I believe, but I don't necessarily know that it's that functional. I think it's all just for looks. And let's be honest, wearing headphones or earphones in the gym isn't about looks. And that point's actually specifically pointed to you guys who wear those big old beat headphones in the gym. Not sure why you'd spend $300 on a pair of headphones to wear in the gym and get all nasty, but that might be a topic for another video. So the look and function of these is okay. The sound quality is good, look and function all right. Probably one of the biggest negatives with these that I found was with the actual kind of speaker button thing here, the power up, start, stop. As I mentioned before, it's not actually a volume up, volume down. Interestingly enough, if you compare the Meze ones, which you see right here, and we'll try to get that a little bit in focus, and I'll actually show you a quick shot of these. If I line these up with the Apple ones, as you can see, the mic is actually about an inch higher on the Apple earphones, and that inch makes a big difference. And trust me, fellas, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to inches and making a difference or not. But the fact that it was an inch lower, it made a big difference for me because I typically wear these underneath or pull them through my shirt so the wire's not hanging around. Again, one of the downsides of using wired headphones. But because it was an inch lower, I found that it was actually covered by my shirt and it was very hard to access unless I actually pulled it out of my shirt. And with that, with pulling it out, came some other issues. The fact is, is I had a lot of trouble skipping tracks. So typically on both the Apple earbuds and the Meze ones, you double click this to go forward to the next track. I found a lot of times with these headphones, I actually ended up pausing it just because there's no real indentation. And I'll, again, I'll show a picture right now on the screen of how the Apple ones are a little bit different and it makes things a little bit easier. So overall, they had good sound. There are some design function issues on these, but the big kind of stopper for me on this, which would really prevent me from buying these or using these fully, is the fact that they cost $80. So they're a good pair of earphones, but you can get the same quality for a lot cheaper with a lot better functionality. Case in point, even these Apple ones, I think they retail for 30 bucks. So $50 less for just as good of earphones as well as better functionality. It's really hard for me to really recommend these unless you're looking more for some type of style or you really like the fact that these have the ear tips on it where you can really cram it in the hole and get a good fit.